Hey everyone, it's Lady Kaka, one on one here with another Value Village doll haul. I am super excited because um, today I went to Value Village actually not expecting to really buy anything. I went there because I needed like clothes for a costume I was making because my mom's birthday is coming up soon and we're having a 90s themed party and since I'm a big fan of the 90s I wanted to dress up of course. Everyone's going to be dressing up and I'm going to be Britney Spears from Baby One More Time, which is from 1998. So I got a bunch of clothes and stuff, and they're not with me right now, so I can't show you because they're in the wash. So I was super excited about that, and since I was there, of course, I couldn't just go there and not look at the brats. So I did get some dolls, so I'm super excited. So let's open up all these girls and show you what's inside. Alright guys, here are all the dolls out of their bags, and I'm super excited. Um, Today's trip at Valley Village was so shocking. They had so many rare brass dolls. I was like shocked. And this isn't even like half of the rare brass they had. They had so many. They had Treasures Roxy, Treasures Chloe. They even had the first edition Roxy and Phoebe twins again, which I already have, so I didn't really like get them or need them. I was considering getting the one with Phoebe because she came in a separate bag, but I decided not to. I wanted to get someone new. Um, they had lots of brats. They even had like the Karate Roxy that I really wanted, but I only had so much money I couldn't really like splurge like I usually would. But um, yeah, so let's start off at the top here. In the first bag, all the brat dolls were $3.99 each, and these two Barbie dolls were $2.99. So in the first bag is Magic Makeup Maribel, which I already have, but I don't really mind. Her hair is actually in really good condition. The one I have has like really fried ends, so it's nice to have one in better condition. I'm not really sure what's going on with the hair, but that's fine, easily fixable. This one is just a basic Eaton, which I'm glad because I really like Eaton. And he's missing a shoe, unfortunately, which is really annoying. It's like almost worse than not having any shoes at all because what am I supposed to do with just one random shoe? So that's unfortunate. Like, literally, all the brass dolls, except for these two, that's why I got them, have no shoes. Like, all the ones that were there, which is really annoying. They didn't even have, like, shoes sold in a separate bag, otherwise I would have gotten them. Which is really annoying, because they literally have no shoes and not a lot of good clothes, so... It's gonna be quite a challenge redressing these girls, but I'll figure out a way. So I got him this bag mainly for Eaton, because I always get the boys. And then the next bag, I mainly got it for this doll here, which is Costume Party Leela. A, because I've seen her on eBay like in like thousands of listings and she goes for hundreds of dollars. And it's literally just a doll with a few accessories, not even. So yeah, she's really, really rare. So of course I got the bag for that and for $3.99. It's really good. She doesn't have her shoes and her, or her hat, but honestly I don't really care. She comes with her outfit which is good enough for me. I actually also got it for the outfit because I'm playing, planning a very special episode of Bratz World, the Halloween episode, so the more costumes I have, the better. And she's super gorgeous. I'm so glad I have her. That is her. And the next is Live in Concert Chloe, which I actually have already. And the exact same pants and shirt, too, so it's quite a coincidence. But this one actually has her original hairstyle, so that's fun. And next one, which I'm pretty sure is rare too, from what I'm told, is Brett's Play Sports Soccer Team's Chloe and Katya. So here's Chloe, she has the same face as Nighty Night Chloe. Her hair is a little bit messy from like the previous owner, like the hairstyle is kind of out of whack. But since it's just simple braids, I'm sure it's easily fixable. And I'm glad I got another one of this Katya, I already have this one. But she's one of my favorite Bratz dolls in my collection, so to have another one is nice. And in the original outfit too, which is a bonus. So that is those two. And then there's two, these two Barbie dolls, which are $2.99. Um, this one is in mid-80s one, I believe. Possibly early 90s. I'm not really sure with the Barbie dolls. And I don't really know the collection names are from either, so if you guys could tell me, please let me know. My hair is really messy, and it is to neck along, unfortunately, but I was really attracted to this one's face because it's super beautiful. I love vintage Barbie dolls. I think they're so pretty. And the next one is a uh, late 90s, early 2000s Barbie. And she actually has one bent arm and one straight arm. I never got a Barbie doll like that, so that's pretty cool. 
And yeah, she's super pretty. I love the green eyes. Very different. I don't think I have a Barbie doll with green eyes, so that's fun. And last but not least, which is the first bag I grabbed, like the first dolls I even saw, and I was super excited, it is Rock Angel's Megan, which is pretty much Dynamite Megan, but redressed. And I know it's Rock Angel's because she's wearing the Rock Angel's outfit she came in. So I'm super excited. I've always wanted Dynamite Megan's. And then there's New Cool Kobe. I have like quite a few Kobe's with the same screening. I'm pretty sure like Formal Funk also has this screening and I have like two of Formal Funk Kobe. And this one looks pretty much the same. And they also have like another one. So this Kobe is like kind of haunting me, but I don't mind because Kobe is my favorite Bratz boy, so that's awesome. He has some pretty bad scratches or scuffs on his face. So um, that's fine though, they're easily cleanable. So yeah, that are all, those are all the dolls that I got, Bratz and a few Barbie dolls. So tell me which doll is your favorite, comment, rate, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye guys!